Hey YouTube, this is your boy George uh, from Hustle Truth to 3G, and uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 3GS on 3.01. So you're gonna have to install Red Snow. I'll put the link in the description over there, and you're gonna have to run it. You're gonna have to browse for the. Uh, the uh, what's it called the IPSW file and mine's gonna take a while cause I have mine in subfolders um the iPhone 3GS 0 0.1 firmware you do not okay I'm gonna zoom in here do not go do not click iPhone 3.01 firmware I have it just for the sake of having it. But, uh, iPhone 3GS 3.0 firmware, that's the one that you guys have to use. 3.0 firmware. Alright. So it's gonna tell you it's processing the uh, firmware, just to check if it's the right one. And it says, you guys can't see that because it's a little blurry. I thought I'd put my macro on. But it says, uh, IPSW identified. Go ahead and press next. Let that, uh, patch kernel thing go through. Now, you're gonna have options on to what you want on the iPhone when it gets installed. Now you can have IC or you can have in, uh, Insidia. You can have both of course. So you're gonna click next. Now it's gonna tell you disconnect from disconnect the phone from your computer. Turn it off by holding the power button until the slide off appears then slide. And of course, what's a tutorial without actually doing it? So, I'm gonna hold this. Slide. Wait five seconds after the device is fully put, after the device is fully powered off. Got that spinning wheel going on. When that spinning wheel is done, that's how you will know when it's fully off. Now, just to make sure you guys have the right red snow, it's red snow point eight. Just to let you guys know. Okay, the wheel has been gone. Now, while holding the home button, plug in the USB. Plug in the USB into the device and keep holding the home button until connect the iP iTunes image appears and the Apple logo disappears. Now it is jailbreaking. Keep holding the uh, home button. I'm sorry. Keep holding the home button until it's all finished. It is uploading kernel, RAM disk, everything you need to do. And you even got the jailbreaking data right here. Downloading. This camera's actually not that bad. But I wish it would render that very good. So we're waiting on that. Now for the sake of time being, I'm going to stop the video. And then I'll get back to you guys when it's done. It's still uploading the kernel, so, uh, and I'm still holding the home button, and it's still saying, uh, downloading jailbreak data. I don't know how close I can go with that. There we go. And now it's rebooting. It says finished over here, but I would not cancel out of this until this is done. Now, 
I usually just keep holding the button just in case anything happens, so it's gonna keep rendering. But if you guys wanna let go, go ahead. Now is the time that you can let go for sure. When the app, the pineapple thing comes up. It's flashing and no water. I'm not a hacker, like I'm not really a iPhone IPSW unlocking jailbreaking type person, but I can unlock them and I can uh, jailbreak them, but I do not know what they're talking about by NOS or stuff like that. Okay, now you're gonna get the Apple logo. Now this does work with the uh, iPhone 2G, but instead of, you know how you saw the uh, in, uh, install Cydia and IC? Well, then you're going to have three options. Install Cydia, install IC, I just felt the vibration tone that makes sure it's turning on. Uh, and it's going to say unlock. And then you're going to uh, do everything else, you know. Okay. There you go. You got your iPhone 3GS jailbroken. There's Cydia right there. I already had it. But I was just doing this for review purposes. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. There you go. Cydia right there. Jumping around. Uh, winter board. Now, in order to make your. Now, I have this slider. Uh, it's, you have to open SSH your phone, so just to get you guys ready, you're going to go into Cydia, let it load, you're going to go to all sections, all packages, let it reload the data, if it doesn't, ignore temporary. Oh, you know what? Just hit search. You're gonna hit the search button right there. Hit tap the packages, names, and description. You're gonna go ahead and type in open S H S S H. And then you're going to go ahead and click that, and click install. Now, I don't know if I have this one or a different one, but I have open SSH already on here. Looks like I need to reinstall it. Maybe whenever I redo this, I have to install it again. Eh, no biggie install confirm downloading open SSH now there's only one downside to this whenever I jailbroke my iPhone I didn't have visual voicemail anymore I can show you guys it's just gonna call my voicemail I don't know if anyone can fix this but let me know. Uh, I mean, that's a jailbreak. And you can go right ahead and click finish on the red snow. Oh, never mind. Uh, the voicemail, whenever you, uh, whenever you jailbreak it, when you hit voicemail, you're gonna, uh, have to retype your password in after you tap it a couple times. Like, when you tap it a couple times, you're gonna have to click, uh, voicemail right there. And the pop-up is going to come up saying re-enter your password or invalid password. So you're going to retype in your voicemail password and OK and then you're going to have your visual voicemail back up and running. Alrighty, bye-bye.